What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would go ahead and do another what sold video on eBay since it's been a couple weeks and I've had a lot of really good sales and a lot of interesting sales so I wanted to share that with you today. Um, but first off I just wanted to say thank you for all of your awesome feedback about my channel. Like I get comments and DMs on Instagram and I cannot believe the positive feedback I've gotten about my channel. I'm overwhelmed and I'm incredibly grateful. So thank you to everyone who takes the time to leave positive, kind notes. It, I read all of them. I might not be able to answer them, but I do read all of them and it just boosts me so much and helps me so much because I am a shy person. I know it may not seem like it because I put my face on a camera and I am out there kind of in the public, but... I am a shy person and doing this is really hard for me. It's like exercising a really uncomfortable muscle. But um, when I hear that you guys like the videos, it really helps me out. So thank you so much. I just wanted to quickly just give my gratitude to you guys. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want reselling content. I am a mom of two little boys and I run an eBay and Amazon business on the side of just being a mom at home, making meals, cleaning the house, taking care of the kids. And I do think it's the perfect job. I get to be with my kids, be with my family, do everything on my own time. And at night or during school, I can work on my business and it's just the perfect balance for me. All right, so that being said, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. First off, the last of the free people, uh, like vegan leather jackets, moto zip jackets sold for me. Um, not for as much as I wanted it to sell for, but I did have it for quite a while and I was like ready to let it go. So I purchased it for $4 at a thrift store on like a half off day and it sold for $35 plus $5 shipping, which I was totally pleased with. I generally actually get a little more for these, $45 to maybe $55 or even $60 or $70 for the free people like vegan leather jackets, but I was still pleased with this sale. It was in great condition and I hope the buyer absolutely loves it. This is actually in my most recent garage sale haul video. Um, when I went garage selling, I picked it up for $1. Actually, this guy always has like a tent up during this annual community sale. He's the nicest guy ever. I always make sure I make time for his station because he gives his clothes away for a dollar and he has some pretty good brands and larger sizes. So um, this Polo Sport 5XL, hoodie zip up sold really quickly I got a lot of lowball offers for it but I held out because I knew it had a lot of watchers and it would go for a decent price and sure enough it sold for $40 plus $6 shipping which isn't bad for a $1 investment okay major bolo alert you guys if you haven't heard of this brand Eskander Eskandar I don't even know if I'm saying that right I have only been able to sell this twice it is an oversized I mean, look at this thing. I don't know why it sells for what it does. Honestly though, these shirts and tops and sweaters retail for over $1,000 each. So it's a very high-end, unique, one-off brand. Um, and this blouse sold within one hour. Should I have listed it for a little bit more? Maybe. I did my due diligence and I looked up comps for the silk blouses on eBay. I had only ever sold a sweatshirt or a sweater um, by Eskander before. So, I don't know, I kind of looked at all the comps, I looked at what I could get, and someone bought it really fast. Eskander is a really great brand. If you ever find it, I mean both times I've sold it, it has sold really fast and for a lot of money. And if you ever want to, just go look at sold comps on eBay for Eskander. Eskandar again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And prepare to have your mind blown. For a blouse that's as basic as this, um, to go for $100 kind of blows my mind. Uniqlo is a brand I don't pick up that much anymore. Um, I, if I saw it like for really cheap, I'd grab it and it would sell for like, you know, not a ton, but a decent price. Um, I had these slim boyfriend jeans for a while and they finally sold for 20 bucks. I did pick these up at the Goodwill outlet, so they were like a dollar, a dollar fifty. And yeah, that's like a decent price to sell it for. I'm totally happy with that. But um, Uniqlo, if you do pick it up, just be aware that I've never really had a piece go for more than 15, 20 bucks. So keep that in mind. Prana is an outdoor brand that I have mentioned a lot before. It's sold at REI. It's a really nice kind of outdoorsy brand. It doesn't sell for tons of money, not as much as like a North Face maybe or an Arcteryx or Patagonia, but it sells for a decent price. And this is a really cute like outdoor dress that I picked up for I believe $5 at a thrift store and it sold for $30 including shipping, which is great. Um, I do love, like, if we're talking about athletic wear brands, Patagonia, Athleta, Cool, um, Prana, if it's like an outdoor dress or like a cottony stretch dress, 
I don't know why, but those seem to sell pretty quickly. So definitely grab those if you see them. And honestly, 20 to 30 bucks is what I generally get for them. Okay, those of you who sell car parts, it is car part season. Summer is hot for car parts. I don't know why, I think people, people, the sun's out, they're working on their cars, and they want them to look awesome. So I have a bunch of grill overlays that I purchased at Liquidation. Um, I talked about this before several times. And they just sell a little bit more during the summer than they do throughout the year. Um, so this is a Jeep Commander overlay. It actually clips over the existing grill and makes it look kind of shiny and new again. So that's like the style, that's what it, that's what it does. Um, I purchased these for $6 each and they generally sell for anywhere from $50 to $100, sometimes more each. So I have sold a few more grills in this little sold video and I will show those coming up. It's kind of crazy, but these do sell for quite a bit of money and they're very easy to ship. I list them once, they're all boxed in my garage. I pull out the car part number, slap the shipping label on. It's generally never more than $10 because these are pretty lightweight. And then they're off to their new home. So it's kind of crazy, but I am grateful for every sale that I get for those car parts. Let's clean out my garage. My husband's ready to have his garage back. These AG jeans, these kind of tan slim jeans, they were a dollar at an estate sale a while ago. And whenever I pick up something for a dollar, again, I've talked about this before, I'm totally fine letting it go for 15, 20, 25 dollars. And these sold for 25 dollars, including shipping, which was great for me. So AG is a really standard, like, bread and butter brand for me. I know that I can generally get anywhere from 20 to $30 for it. So if I get it for the right price, I do usually pick it up. You might remember this Pat Aloha top from the thrift with me video that I did a little while back. Um, I was at the thrift store, I was going through all the stuff and I found this Pat Aloha shirt and I went ka-ching because I knew it would be money. Pat Aloha is Patagonia. It's limited edition Hawaiian style. This was designed in I think 2003, that's what the tag said, which is really cool. So I waited for the right buyer, I got some low ball offers, but sure enough it sold for $30 plus $5 shipping and I picked it up for $5. I like picking up men's clothes. If you're kind of trapped in the women's clothing genre and you feel scared to venture into men's, don't be because men's clothing sells really well and a lot of times like you don't get returns because I don't know why men maybe aren't as picky as women and my men's clothing sells really well for me. So I picked this up on like a dollar day at a thrift store and it was one dollar and it was like a North Face, really good condition men's crew neck sweater. So I grabbed it, even though it's summertime, sweaters, sweatshirts, they still sell for me. So don't be afraid to pick something up that's like a jacket, even if it's warm outside, because it could be cold somewhere. eBay shoppers are all around the world. So yeah, this sold for 26 bucks, which is great for me. I've talked about Solomon before. Solomon is an outdoor brand. I picked these up at a garage sale, gosh, a while ago, honestly, for $10. They were like new in the box and I sold them for $50. And you can see I originally priced them higher because I want a little bit more. But for me, when something's been sitting for a while and I get a decent offer that's gonna make me a decent profit, I will let it go because, again, I really don't have that much room in my office and I'm ready to move things along. So one way that I gauge if I'm gonna accept an offer or not is I look at how many watchers the item has. If there's a lot and I haven't listed it very long and I get a lower offer, I don't usually accept it. I feel like it'll get a better offer later on. Whereas these didn't really have many watchers. So that kind of was an indication to me that maybe another offer wouldn't come along in a while. So I took the offer and I'm really glad to see them go. So this vintage North Face jacket sold for $80, which I'm totally pleased with. Vintage North Face sells really well. So I would definitely recommend if you see it, you pick it up. Any of the Gore-Tex, anything unique, bright colors. This has bright colors, it screams 90s a little bit. So I thought it was way cool, and sure enough, it sold for 80 bucks pretty quickly, which really made me happy. Things like Vintage North Face, Vintage Patagonia, Vintage Polo Ralph Lauren, um, Vintage Nike, bright colors, loud things, they sell great. So if you ever see those, pick them up and see how they sell for you. For me, I've learned to have an eye for them. I used to only sell women's fashion. That's like all I did when I first started. And I'm really glad that I've branched out and explored different options because now I'm just adding to my knowledge every time I go out because who knows, one of these sections could get really saturated, women's clothing or certain brands or whatever, certain styles. So I like that I kind of can pick up a little bit of everything and hope that it sells for me. This is another $1 find for me, um, and it is a J. Crew kind of like swim cover-up slash long tunic 
top slash mini dress. It can be a lot of things. Um, it's like a thin fabric, really cute. I also looked at the inner tag and it was from a recent year. That's something that I look for with J. Crew. I sell a ton of J. Crew, and most of the time I try to pick up either a really cute style or something that is more recent because so, it'll just sell a little bit better for me. And sure enough, my $1 turned into almost $25 with this sale, which I was totally pleased with. Free People jeans don't sell as great for me as some of the other Free People stuff. Um, these were cute. They're like distressed in style skinny jeans, um, but they only sold for $20 plus $6 shipping, which is fine, but um, you know, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with what I pick up with Free People because I think I paid $8 for these thinking that they would sell for more. It's fine, I'm still pleased I got some money out of it, but I do have to be careful because sometimes I get excited. I see free people and I'm like, oh, it'll sell for great money. And then it just kind of ends up sitting. So anyway, lesson learned. Um, these are just lessons that I think you can only learn as you go. I don't know if there's any other way. I got this Angel of the North. It's an anthropology brand. And by the way, if you're not familiar with anthropology brands, I would highly recommend that you just go online, go on Google Images and look up the tags and learn all the brands that anthropology sells. They sell quite a few. Um, if it sounds really weird or like a Michelle Branch song from the 90s or something like that, it's probably an anthropology brand. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But um, this is just a super long knit vest and really pretty. It was really good condition. I picked it up for $5 from a thrift store and it sold for $42 almost. So totally happy with that turnaround. This is another example of a J. Crew. It was a more recent style. It was a factory, J. Crew factory, but I did buy this really cheap. And it's a romper. It's like a one piece romper that's like kind of stretchy and easy to slip on and off. And so I thought it would be cute for summer and sure enough someone did buy it for, I mean, $23 isn't anything to really shout about, but when you turn something small into 23 bucks, I'm all about that. Again, like I said, my average sale price in my store is around $33. So nothing crazy, but when you're only selling high-end stuff, those take a little bit longer to sell generally, whereas when you're selling $15 to $20 things, they sell a lot more frequently and you get a lot fewer returns. So I kind of have a happy medium in the middle of that. I find really cheap things that I sell for 15 to 20 bucks, and then I have higher end things that take a little bit longer to sell. And sure enough, what that does for me is just has consistency with my store, which I really like. This is another <laughs> car part. This is a Mustang car part, like a gr another grill overlay. That's actually most of what I have. It sold for $77 plus $5 shipping. So anyway, yeah, this sold for a great price. And again, these were $6 when I picked them up. So <laughs> to sell it for $80 plus is awesome. Another car part. This I actually picked up from a garage sale thanks to my knowledge and experience with car parts from that huge liquidation that I bought. I bought this for $40 at a garage sale. Um, I don't know why I have $5 shipping on this. <laughs> I should not have. I should have charged more, but it's totally fine. Um, again, I have preset settings in my templates for eBay, and sometimes I will just get to listing, and it'll have that preset shipping price, and I won't see it till it sells, so totally my bad. Um, whatever. But I'm still totally happy with $180. It sold for $180. Bucks. And it ended up only costing $15 to ship because I used FedEx home delivery, which is a really good option if you have something that's like big and oversized. Sometimes priority mail, USPS can be extremely expensive, um, even if you're using a third party shipping software like Pirate Ship. But FedEx has really decent prices when it's big and oversized. And this actually even shipped faster with FedEx home delivery than it did, than it would have with USPS priority mail. So definitely keep that in mind. But um, yeah, I'm really glad that I did expand my knowledge with car parts a little bit because I was able to see right away this would be a really good flip. And even though I do offer free returns on all of my clothing items for my car parts, I do not offer free returns. I offer returns with most of my car parts, but with this one, no returns were accepted because it's expensive, it's Mercedes OEM, I was scared of fraud, so it was shipped off to the customer. I hope they love it, but yeah, like if we start to have some return problems with this, that'll be really annoying. Crossing my fingers that it stays there and is accepted by the buyer and that's that. This is a Free People New Romantics dress. It's like lace over like a nude kind of style dress. It's really, really cute. I picked this up for $5. New Romantics is like an offshoot of Free People, so that's something that you wanna keep in mind because then I could put in Free People as one of the keywords. 
and it sold for $40, which totally made me happy. I knew the right customer would come along. It's adorable, has like a little scalloped edge to it, and I hope the buyer loves it. This is another car part. <laughs> like I said, you guys, it's car part season, so get your car parts out, get them listed because this is the time to do it. And this sold for $96, which is awesome for me. Um, so I will ship that out tomorrow. I have quite a few car parts going out. This just sold today, so I'm totally pleased with that sale. Mizook is a brand that sells really well for me. They're all knit acrylic fabrics, so they're really easy to feel if you if you kind of are going through the racks and you feel like a really silky knit acrylic. That could be Mizook. Mizook, I don't know if I'm saying that right, hopefully. <laughs> but I picked these up actually a huge like bunch of exclusively Mizook at a yard sale. It was like in a big pile of clothes. Someone just donated all of theirs, so I picked up a bunch of pants and tops and blouses and it was awesome. Um, picked them all up for $1 each. So they have slowly been selling for me and this one sold for $33, which I'm totally happy with. Um, yeah, so exclusively Mizook is a brand to look out for and it sells very consistently for me. Eileen Fisher is a brand that retails for a ton of money, but that doesn't mean it always <laughs> resells for a ton of money. So this is new with tags. I have had this for a long time. It sold just today for $39, which I'm totally pleased with. I accepted that offer. I'm ready to see it go. It probably retailed, I think for, I think this retailed for $120 or maybe more. So yeah, that seems like for new with tags, like quite a bit off, but it's been sitting for a while. It is brand new, I think it's cute. I'm ready to just send it off to its new home. Sometimes you just have to do that with old inventory. Say goodbye, <laughs> let it move on. And last but not least, this clarinet is something that I picked up from a yard sale, <laughs> surprise. Um, musical instruments can be a little tricky. I'm not super familiar with musical instruments, so I will take a bunch of pictures and just think, well, someone will buy it. But this customer asked for a lot of measurements, wanted everything inspected, and uh, like, I'm a little nervous that this might get returned. But um, yeah, you never know. So musical instruments, I don't know that I'll be picking them up a ton again, unless like it's a guaranteed easy flip for me, like maybe locally. Um, but they are just, if you're not familiar, like I'm not familiar with musical instruments very much, I probably would just pass. Like it just intimidates me a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to ship this off tomorrow, crossing my fingers that it just, again, gets shipped off and the customer doesn't return it and that they love it. Please, please, please. But if they don't, if they don't, it really wasn't a huge investment for me from this yard sale. So, um, yeah, those things happen. I get asked a ton of what do I do about fraud and people who do false returns and whatever. I honestly, you guys just roll with it. I just don't let myself think about it too much because I don't want to, I don't want to go to a negative space when I'm doing my selling. I focus on the positive. I focus on what's working and you know, if I see a certain category of item being returned a lot or being harder for me to list, then you know what? I just avoid that item from then on out and everything works out just fine. So don't be intimidated. Don't be scared. Just go for it. Fraud will happen. Returns happen. Really annoying customers happen, but the vast majority are really nice and there is profit to be made. So anyway, that's like my parting thought for the day, I guess. Um, as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Blown away that anyone watches my videos other than my husband. <laughs> so thank you so much. And I hope you have an awesome week. I hope you have had great sales. I'm excited to continue to put out really helpful content for you, hopefully, that helps you with your reselling business and helps you to grow. So anyway, you guys, until next time, take care. Bye.